Hi Libra, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So uh, let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is your destiny card for the week ahead? And this week you get the faith card, which is actually the Hierophant card. So this week, it looks like you are interacting with persons or uh, or establishments of power of some sort. So um, interestingly enough, right, let's look at this from the Hierophant perspective. This is about you dealing with, it could be local authorities, sometimes it can be government, sometimes it's uh, governing bodies of some sort. Um, and as a faith card, I mean, look at that, right? He's totally in the moment, totally aware and aligned with what it is that he believes. So this is asking you this week, Libra, what is it that you put your faith in? Where is it that you are trusting in something uh, outside of what you, you know, what you might be able to see in terms of tangible results? Now, as a, a, a destiny card, and you see there it's got all of the faiths, like all the different symbols for all of the faiths around the world, which I find really interesting because that builds into this idea that faith is something that is transcendent. It doesn't necessarily only have uh, one, one uh, direction or one route that it can travel. And this is very much like your own personal energy. So this week, it does look like there's going to be something presented to you where there is another pathway open. So you might have your idea or your, you know, you might have your sights or your heart set on doing something in a specific way or maybe going through a certain uh, you know certain motions or certain avenues but it does look like there's going to be another path that will be open to you this week so stay alert to that um, because it's very likely that it will come up for you in some way all right so let's give it some context let's flesh it out your direction card is the queen of swords so this week you've got to be prepared to fight for your faith or stand up for whatever it is that you believe in now uh, as i said it does look like there's another avenue opening up for you now interestingly enough the queen of swords is ruled by libra um, so you show up in your energy right and as a direction this is about holding true to your own beliefs holding true to what stands true for you um, and at the end of the day sometimes that's you know that's as much as we can do is to stand by what it is that we think stand by what it is that we say uh, to you know say what you mean and mean what you say at the end of the day that's that's really sometimes the the best way that you can show up for yourself as a direction card the queen of swords is basically saying this week you may very well have to fight for something you may very well have to stand up for something it may be that you get uh you know because it's the hierophant card there so maybe there's some sort of institution that you are interacting with and it may be that you get a, an unsatisfactory answer maybe the the of the offer or the opportunity or the avenue that is being presented to you isn't satisfactory maybe it's something that doesn't hold true for you or doesn't do what it what you know what it is that you're asking or what it is that you need so it does suggest that the queen of swords this is about you you know going to war for it and saying look you know what this is what i need in order to do what it is that i you know i have to do or whatever it is that i'm expected to do it may be a boss it may be um you know somebody in in local authority or somebody of a, a local power or maybe even a governing body that you're tied to but it does look like this week you'll be presented with something and it just won't do the job which is uh, you know so it's up to you to say look this doesn't work for me i need a different avenue or i you know i want to create a different avenue remember your ruler venus is going retrograde in the sign of gemini so it's not so bad because it's still offering you a trine energy but it is a retrograde planet so it's something that's going to take a little bit of getting used to and a little bit of wrangling as they say if you haven't got it yet uh, remember your retrograde survival kit you can get it in the uh, link in the description box below this isn't just about the Venus retrograde, it's about all retrogrades. Any planet that ever goes retrograde, there is a survival strategy in there for you and a whole bunch of other tidbits and information that will be absolutely relevant for you. So your insight card is what's coming in or going on behind the scenes. You have the temperance card. 
this does appear to be about your belief system, your belief structure, your faith, you know, what it is that you trust in, what it is that you really believe in. All of these things could be coming to the fore for you this week and it might be that you're having some really challenging conversations with people about what you believe versus what they believe. Uh, now you are a Libra, right? So your natural tendency is to see where everybody's coming from. However, this week it does look like you're going to have to stick to your guns and stand your ground. The Temperance card is ruled by Sagittarius. So we've got like a double hit of this kind of, uh, you know, religio, socio, politic, political sort of energy that's kind of pervading. So this might be stuff that you see online. It might be conversations that you have over the phone. It may be in relation to your work. Maybe it's just in relation to your stance on something. But it does look like this week you are stating what your opinion is and you are backing it up, which is really nice to see, you know. Libras get a really bad rap because they're all, you know, they're always, everyone says, oh, it's disingenuous to always be thinking about other people. I don't actually think that's the case. I think it's just that they generally care, genuinely care about, you know, everybody being, uh, you know, having their moment to speak and to stand up. But it looks like this week you're doing that for yourself might be met with some resistance you know maybe people are going to be like oh, hang on a sec usually you know you take everything on board whereas this week you're kind of like nah -uh, you know what I'm not changing my stance this is where I stand on said uh, you know in, in said experience or, or whatever all right with that said I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and I'll see you soon